Hello, this is Andrew with WMH Racing, and today we are going to go over the eye charger settings for the discharger box from Donathan Racing Concepts. Uh, if you guys haven't seen these yet, uh, it's a nice little box that holds uh, the resistor bank inside of it with some fans uh, for discharging. Uh, it makes it so you do not have to uh, burn your hands burn your fingers burn anything else when uh mucking around in your pit uh having them out in the open uh so yeah uh we we had some uh requests to get the uh instructions for the eye charger out uh to get the maximum discharge rate so what we're going to do today is go over those settings uh right now uh, i have everything already set up on this uh nice little stand that you can get there's the platform uh, that sits on top of the power supply. And we're going to zoom in on the charger. All right, so this is going to work for uh, all the duo chargers. Uh, the DX6, the DX8, um, the 308 duo, and the 406 and 4010 duo. This setting uh, will also work on the 458 and 456. Uh, but you need to make sure you have the correct version of the firmware. And hold on one second. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and define the discharge parameters. Uh, so we open up the uh, profiles and we're going to long press the center button. And it pops up with the edit or back up with the menu. We choose edit. Uh, we are going to uh, go into the uh, discharge and click on enter. All right, so this is the DX6. So the maximum discharge rate for the DX6 is uh, 32 amps. So we just scroll that all the way up to the maximum. Uh, then we come down here and choose our discharge uh, voltage cutoff. Uh, you can make this... Uh, I, I personally don't ever go down below 3.5 volts per cell. I just don't see a need for it. Uh, lipos do not have a memory. You, don't, you do not get any performance benefit. Uh, the only time you really want to go below that is if you're checking uh, capacity of your cells. So I'm going to go ahead and make it 3.5 volts. Okay, now we have the end current. And so the end current is actually a percentage of the starting current, obviously, right? End current. Uh, but what it does, if we leave it at 50% and the, the charger, the discharger gets down to the cutoff voltage of 3.5 volts, it will start decreasing the current and maintain that 3.5 volts until it hits 50% of the discharge current. So it would, it would be uh, 16 amps. So basically it's 16 amps and 3.5 volts per cell, then it would cut, shut off the discharge. Uh, personally, I turn this uh, all the way up to uh, 100%. So as soon as it hits 3.5 volts per cell, it stops discharging. All right. Uh, and we're gonna go down one more and we have to choose, uh, we have to choose two channel, not two input, uh, but two channel. And then we go to the uh, set and we do resistance or volts. Uh, and then, sorry, uh, this is this is the very important step. So this is where we have to crank up the voltage limit and crank up the current limit. So if you have the voltage limit all the way down here at like 8.4 volts, uh, you're never going to get a 32 amp discharge. So we crank up the volts, we crank up the current. And we hit back. Uh, and we go into the advanced. We make sure that the extra discharge is not checked. Uh, you can check balance enable, but uh, I, there's no point for running the discharge. If you're doing the um, storage mode, uh, yeah, enable the balance, but no point for the discharge. I uh, hit back, uh, then back again. And then we're going to go over here and save the parameters. Now this saves that parameters for the profile uh, that I'm choosing. And right now that's 2S4100. Now I'm going to take a battery. All 
I'm going to put it in my DRC LiPo safe. Throw it back up on that platform. I am going to run the uh, discharge. And make sure that the uh, discharge box is powered on and the fans are running. And we'll zoom in on the uh, charger again. And we can see that the uh, current is going up and up and up. And there we go. Excuse me. All right, we've hit our 32 amps. And the battery will just continue to discharge until it hits 3.5 volts per cell. But that is all I have for this video. Uh, there will be a, a separate video uh, going over the firmware information for the uh, 456 and 458. Thanks. Bye.